Hello, you fine internet folks. We're here at CES 2025 at, in sunny Las Vegas, Nevada. And we just got the AMD keynote. And AMD has made many things public. However, something that was kind of missing was RDNA 4. Um, we know that RDNA 4 is coming later this quarter, along with FSR 4, which is an ML-based upscaler. And um, that's really all we got from AMD. Um, based on some slides that they gave us, it looks like the 9070 XT, the highest range chip, is going to approximately match the 9700 XT. Not the XTX, the XT. And for anything else, we're, we're kind of going to have to wait for the proper announcement later this quarter. Moving on to something that what that had a full-on announcement, AMD's Vcache has now come to the dual CCD version of Zen 5. The 9950X3D uh, has one Vcache die and one regular die, just like the prior generation of 7950X3D. What this means is that the regular die can clock up to the 5.7 gigahertz that the uh, 9950X can, but you also have the Vcache die, which will likely have some sort of clock speed deficit compared to the 5.7. How much it is, we don't know yet. Um, that will be a question to ask them. And along with this announcement has also been the announcement of Fire Range. Fire Range is the HX competitor that AMD has. So this is essentially just a desktop chip, desktop gen Zen 5, put into a laptop format for the big desktop replacement laptops. And this will also have v a Vcache SKU. Now, staying in the mobile segment, but moving to the other end of it, they have just announced Kraken, which is the more mainstream version of Strix Point. Um, this is covering the uh, AMD Ryzen AI 7 and 5 segments. This will be for your more mainstream laptops. This has uh, four Zen 4 cores, four Zen, excuse me, four Zen 5 cores, and four Zen 5C cores, um, eight CUs of RDNA 3.5, and a total L3 cache of 24 megabytes. Um, again, this is your more mainstream chip. What isn't mainstream, however, is what was also announced, and this is the big boy, Strix Halo. Strix Halo or the AMD Ryzen Max Plus 395. Again, a, a mouthful of a name. Um, this is Strix Halo. What Strix Halo is, is this is essentially a competitor to the M4 Pro kind of Max, but mostly Pro competitor. This chip has a 256-bit LPDDR5 8000 bus, which provides up to 256 gigabytes of memory bandwidth. And to accompany that bandwidth, this chip has a, for a mobile, a x86 mobile device in the Windows ecosystem, a massive 40 CU RDNA 3 iGPU that can clock up to 2.9 gigahertz. This also has up to 16 Zen 5 cores. Now, these are very likely identical to the desktop Zen 5 cores with one possible exception, that being the FPU side. Uh, we need some clarity on if the FPU is like Strix Point, which was, again, similar to Zen 4, where it was the double-pumped 256-bit FPU, or to cycle 256-bit FPU, or if it's the full single-cycle 512-bit FPU or vector unit that we see in the 
standard Zen 5 desktop chips. Um, now, this SKU will go from anywhere from 45 watts to, 100, to 120 watts. Um, and there were a couple of uh, products shown with it. Uh, the Asus uh, Zen 13 uh, and the ZBook Ultra from HP. Um, they both will be having Strix Halo in a laptop, but HP has also announced a three liter class um, desktop uh, workstation device um, with Strix Halo, which is pretty neat, honestly, for a little three liter box. Um, so, but speaking of partners, one last thing, the big surprise announcement was that Dell is now working with AMD for client products and laptops. Dell was for a large part the final holdout of the big laptop makers to provide uh, AMD products in their top-end SKUs. So this announcement for not just the top-end consumer chips, but also for the client business side, so that's like small and medium business laptops will also be getting AMD chips. This is big news. So, and I think that sort of caught everyone off guard. They, AMD had a had a chance to do at one last thing. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't take that. But uh, yeah, um, that's sort of a wrap for the AMD stuff. At least for the keynote, there will be an interview with uh, Mahesh Saramani coming up and about Strix Halo. Uh, can't wait for that. And um, yeah, if you like this video, hit like, hit subscribe, comment share it, appease the YouTube algorithm god, and uh, have a good one, folks. See y'all later.